My name is Seamus Brennan. For decades I ran the Sons of War militia to its full glory. Until today. Everything changed. Today is the day that Sons of War finally dies. After a discussion with my new employer, I now place this fort under your command, Mr. Williamson. You shouldn't have hit her, Seamus. I did no such thing! So she couldn't do the job herself. All that talk about being a warrior getting to her. Elizabeth instructed me to make this quick. Got any last words? Yeah. Just do your fucking job, backstabbing bastard. possible sign of conflict from Russian forces spread along the border there. This as the UN Security Council held an emergency late night meeting during which officials implored Vladimir Putin to stop any hostile action towards Ukraine. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Linda Thomas-Greenfield calling this a perilous moment, asking Russia's president to order tanks and planes and troops to back away from Ukraine's borders. A full-scale invasion could lead to one of the biggest conflicts we've seen in Europe in decades. War. War never changes. What are you reading? I went searching Triac and I found my great grandfather's old journal. I didn't know he made a record of the Sons of War militia and everything that they got up to. He seems to talk a lot about his second in command, Elizabeth Page. Elizabeth? She was the one who turned Seamus' men against him. Reading some of these pages. <laughs> It seems like they clearly loved each other. He even left a picture of her in his journal. Perhaps you could start from the beginning. I'm interested to hear what happened to the Sons of War militia. Alright, let's find out what happened. Our story begins in a saloon in the town of Rhodes. Seamus and Elizabeth are riding in one evening after being contacted by a mysterious stranger. Excuse me. Two beers. It's lunch. Skull. Can you tell me about them lads over there? Hmm. Family men. Working class. Probably old friends or colleagues reminiscing about old times. 
I'd say they've been in the saloon all day. Very observant, Elizabeth. Now what about those two over there by the piano? I'd say a young troublemaker who probably has had his way with a lot of ladies in town. He's not overly bright, is he? She just took ten dollars out of his pocket. It's always good to study people, Elizabeth. Not everyone has your best intentions in mind. Who is it that we are waiting for? The letter was sent by a Sergey McDowell, a man who's learnt of our organization and wishes to do business. He should be arriving here very shortly. McDowell? I've heard of them. The gang my friend Natalia is in, Los Molina Compaña, they are a part of their commission. Then perhaps that is what he wishes to discuss. I think this is him now, Seamus. Mr. Brennan, I presume. I've heard a lot about your militia. You like to keep our business rather private. I guess you've done your research. My commission has eyes and ears everywhere. That's so. So excuse me, Mr. McDowell. Ah, no, no. Call me Sir J. McDowell. Right, right, whatever. Please, take a seat with us. So, I see that you're also a man who values the ranks of women in your organization. Not many people in these parts do. Elizabeth will be my second in command soon enough. She is quite gifted. It's nice to meet you, Elizabeth. Your family name is rather strong within Lemoyne. Thank you. I'm Ariel, third in command of the Mactowell family. Ah, yes. Allow me to introduce the alien of our group. She's from overseas. We are all from overseas here, Sir J. McDowell. None of us truly belong in this land. My father had a big role in the development of this country. He was a rather high-ranking officer in the Union Army. Same as your father, from what I hear. Civil war isn't a motive for me anymore. Maybe when I was young and stupid, but looking back on it, Everyone had a rough. So you say. Let's change the topic, Mr. Brennan. I wanted to speak to you about a proposition. Then tell me what it is that you want from us. I have seen the potential that your militia has, and was hoping to have your men involved with the McDowell Commission. But first, I wish to see the Sons of War in action. My commission accepts well-paid contracts, and I have one that would suit your group perfectly. I have a contract here for a rescue operation for the leader of the Banished Ones. It's worth one thousand dollars. A thousand? Yes. Succeed with this mission, and I will reward the Sons of War a place within our commission. Trust me, Mr. Brennan. You could be making a lot of money. Where is he? He's being held by a Captain Archer inside Bronte's old manor in Saint Denis. Apparently, he didn't pay the Lemoyne Raiders after they did a job for him. So now, we're getting paid to get him out. I'll have my men ready to rescue this associate of yours. Good. We will talk again after you complete the contract. Do you really trust them, Seamus? That is a lot of money. I don't know if I trust them yet, Jack. But it sure is a lot of money. We just have to keep our eyes peeled, alright?
I only see a couple of guards outside. What should we do? I suggest that we take them out quietly. Agreed. Alright, keep your eyes sharp. There may be more around here. Jock, I want you to lead the men around the mansion, see if there's any more Le Moyne Raiders. Myself and Elizabeth will enter inside to find this associate. This is where the fun begins. Seamus. Papa Wolf, I didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while. It certainly has. Are you alright? Captain Archer. This time we'll do it together. I was about to say that. You're no match for him. He's a Confederate captain. Papa Wolf, Confederate captains are our speciality. Your revolvers, please. We wouldn't want to make a mess in front of the banished one's leader. You won't get away this time, Archer. I've been looking forward to this. My powers have doubled since the last time I met you, Lemoyne Raiders. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. I'll deal with the Lemoyne Raiders. You run around and get Archer. Got it. sense great fear in you, young page. You have hate. You have anger. You don't use them. Good, Elizabeth, good. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him now. I shouldn't. Do it. You did well, Elizabeth. He was too dangerous to be kept alive. Yes, but he was an unarmed prisoner. I shouldn't have done that. 
It's not the Sons of War way. It's only natural. They burned down your house. You wanted revenge. It wasn't the first time, Elizabeth. Remember what happened with your grandfather and the Lemoyne Raiders? Hmm. Now you must leave before the Lemoyne Raiders arrive. Elizabeth, we don't have Tom. We must get out of here before it's too late. He seems to be alright. Leave him, or we'll never make it. His fate will be the same as ours. Uh, what happened? Seamus, are you okay? Yeah, I, I think so. Come on, we gotta go. Free, sons of war scum. Great! More of these guys. Hang on a minute, we're smarter than this. Apparently not. Shut your mouth and hand over the wolf. Ah, now hold on a second there, lads. Can we not talk about this? The time for talking is over, old man. Didn't mean to use you as bait, but you certainly were a good distraction. Bait? Jesus Christ, brother, that was dangerous. But none of our lads were her. Can't say the same for these Lemoyne Raiders, though. These were the reinforcement raiders. We should leave before they send more. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Good work, lads. Drinks on me tonight. Thank Christ, my mouth was quite dry. Here. Contract completed. Wonderful. How are you, Mr. Wolf? I'm as good as I can be. We'll have to discuss about you joining my commission soon, Mr. Brennant. As you wish. And you, young page. I'll be watching your career with great interest. My organization is based within the state of West Elizabeth, Mr. Brennant. Perhaps we could meet in Blackwater to discuss our business further. We'll see, McDowell. Come on, the lads. Up the IRA. <laughs> It was, I recall, 